Hello everybody and welcome to today's album review. Let's have a look at what we're going to be... Uh, Brett, can you hear me? Yep. Oh, you're frozen. Oh. Um, okay, let's have a look anyway at what we're going to be um, reviewing today. So... Um, we've been asked to review Heroes by The Midnight. So Heroes is the fourth studio album by synthwave band The Midnight. It was released in 2022. So the album includes songs that are influenced by hair metal bands and heavy metal, specifically Def Leppard and Mutlanga. Um, okay, hair metal. Yeah, exactly. glam metal. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, synthwave band. Um, I don't know. I don't know about this. The comment says that you're going to like it. Um, I'm yeah, but sure I like I'm everything, like really, don't I? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to like this, you know. it's. I'm, who knows? It might be all right. I, I guess it's going to be 80s again, maybe, or maybe not. I don't know. Um, the Midnight. Let's have a look. Can you see the screen? The midnight? Yep. Yep. Um, what's their music class does? Synth wave, future synth, electronic, chill wave. Oh, this is a bit of you, isn't it? It does stand that sounds a bit more a bit of me, yeah. So what are you thinking? Are you looking forward to it? You've uh, you've already been told you're gonna like it. Yeah, I mean listen, I can I think other people probably know me better than I know myself. I don't know, it hasn't gone wrong too too much there. Yeah, I really quite like this sort of take of, you know, so is it like modern update bands like mm. doing sort of eighties music. So I think maybe they can take sort of the best parts and do it better. Maybe and also I feel like in a strange way, maybe like technology is probably a lot better now. Mm. So that is sort of is because that's as good as the technology probably was. So I feel like they can just improve in that in a way. Um, so, yeah, I just think it's just a real, you know, take to find a genre like that and be more than like to be doing what you can be and like sort of embracing it, as they say. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, the glam rock is not my normal sort of go-to, I would mm. say. Um, but I think there generally can be some good songs from that. But like I say, hopefully maybe they're just taking the best bits and worked with it and maybe brought some modern um, elements to there. So, yeah, listen, you know, clean slate, try and be open-minded and, um, as I was saying, see what, what comes out of it. Okay, well, we're going to head off and listen to it. We will be back with you guys in just a second. Don't go anywhere. Right, we've now listened to the album. So, let's get straight into it the first track was golden gate it had what i'd call a sci a sci-fi feel to it quite spacey i quite like the start um with the lyrics and the voice it had a nice chilled feel to it now i would say as the song has developed i did get a little bit bored of it i felt it could have done with spicing up a bit because it is such a long song. So, yeah, some good things about it and some not so good, but overall, not, not a bad start. Yeah, it's been normal to about, you know, sort of the first track, you know, setting up their stall and, you know, what, what maybe the album we're going to get from here. Um, I also picked up on the space thing and actually mentioned it um, a bit later on, so there's definitely that sort of running theme um, for it. And I agree with all the sort of points you make there you know really nice sounding voice really nice tune nice slow relaxing vibe really enjoyed um that aspect of it but didn't really have much else to it so it wasn't such a bad song just yeah for, for such for i think it's probably one of the longer tracks on there i think they're all quite long but i think this was probably the longest one um probably mine just needed that little bit of something just to, for it being such a, a long song maybe all just brought it down definitely sort of had sort of the 80s um, kind of vibe to him, it's very similar to other stuff that we'd um, listened to, which again I'll mention on a bit further on. Um, I also made a note here because I don't know if you picked up, so I heard about, um, it mentioned about 
it, well, it says Springsteen, but I'm assuming it's about Bruce Springsteen, um, about one of his songs um, being mentioned um, in the lyrics, which I picked up on. But otherwise, yeah, nice. But um, yeah, just maybe missing a little something. Track two then, Brooklyn Friday Love. So I quite like the start of this. Now this one uh, did spice up, unlike the previous one. And you know what? I quite like the style of this. I thought this was pretty good overall. So yeah, so a bit more upbeat um, with this one here. Again, we had some more sort of music references put in. I was thinking, oh, I don't mind if we hear loads of these throughout, but after this, I didn't pick up on any <laughs> others after that. There was mention of uh, Johnny Cash um, and the Jackson 5s being mentioned. Yeah. This almost had this sort of, um, what I call like, sort of the hand clapping in the air kind of mm. um, vibe to it. And I always put sort of kind of like a, if Katy Perry's song had saxophone elements um, to it. <laughs> but again, a nice design, nothing shout at home about just um nice and a bit more upbeat than previous ones track three then was heartbeat so i put here very very 80s that was what struck me with this one straight away um quite a lively song overall it, it was okay it, don't really have much more to say on it other than that yeah i feel like um my notes are probably gonna be quite similar to yours going on forward because i haven't really got much more <laughs> the songs there, but yeah, this is probably the most eighties ones on there. I've put the song um Jump, sounds very similar to that one. Um again, some good singing tones, some good toe tapping, head bopping at times. Um again, overall really nice sort of good vibe to it. But again, it's probably just missing something to really make to have put here, you know, it feels like typical man I feel like American sort of open road driving music um to listen to. So yeah, good. But, that's all I could really say for it. Track four then, A Piece of Her Own. This was a slow start. Um, quite a nice sounding song. I felt it was lacking a bit of excitement though. Um, but I still, I just still quite like the style of the song, despite something lacking there. So I think up to this stage, you know, I've been you know, relatively impressed with the album to a certain extent, I would say. Mm. Yeah, I think, you know, sort of just on that note, you know, it's been very pleasant, very nice. Um, I've actually in this track called a, a Place of Our Own rather than A Piece of Our Own, or unless I've got it wrong, potentially. Uh, this is a sort of like a slow ballad um, kind of vibe to it now. Um, I really like this. This is probably my favourite one um, so far. Um, and it's funny because it, it mentions a lot in the lyrics, like, it's a nice place. It probably mentioned that like loads and loads of time. And it, it almost felt like the same thing with the vibe of the song, really. Just a, <laughs> a nice, a nice song. So again, it's hard to not like it. Um, but I said, it, it is probably my favourite one so far, but probably is just missing that little bit of upbeat energy. But I did like it as a sort of slow ballad-ish type song. So what did you say, what did you say the song was called? Is it not a place of our own? A black place yeah. of... Yeah, that's what I've got. Did, yeah. I, did, I, did okay. I say peace? It sounded like peace, but maybe I misheard it. Maybe I, maybe I, I mispronounced it, I don't know. But yeah, I've definitely got here a place of her, of her own. I'd have to, I'll have to listen back and see what I said. Um, okay, next track then was Heroes. Very 80s start again. Has a nice feel to it, this one. I like the spiced up part when it does get going. There's a few different voices in here as well. And now the song has changed up with the instrumentals. I thought this wasn't a bad song at all, this one, but maybe it did drag on a little too long. That'd be my only criticism. Yeah, again, same sort of thing. Um, yeah, definitely a lot more going on in this one. Obviously, what you normally say as well, you know, it's the title track of the album, so it normally has a bit more um, pressure um, on it, you would say. Um, yeah, we are. and we had this sort of um, AO on EO sort of, towards the end it was very probably for maybe about a minute but it felt like 20 minutes <laughs> but it's like something it just went on that little bit too long so we haven't said like a lot of these tracks are like sort of near the five minute mark which is normally generally okay but i think for a lot of these songs where not too much happens it, it does tend to drag just that little bit then which is which is a shame right so the next track then was heart worth breaking so 
sort of like a typical 80s slow song. A ni- and again, I'm just repeating myself here. A, a nice song, but maybe lacking something. Had a sort of quite jazzy kind of instrumental feel to it. So again, it, it was nice, but just something wasn't was lacking a little bit. Yes, this is like the uh, place for her own song, the other ballad one. Um, I, I've just simply put, like that one, but just not as good. Again, really nice song. Just, again, you can't not like it, but missing missing a tad as well. So next up was Loved By You. Yet again, another nice sounding song. So I, um, there is a theme here, you know, I do like the songs. I like the way he sings. I like the music, the, everything. I like the song. It bit, This one builds up well, has a good beat to it. I've got nothing negative to say about this one. Yeah, so this is going to be sort of the common theme for a lot of songs. And again, I can't add any much different to what you said. Same sort of thing, you know, really nice and really enjoyed listening to it. Um, this one did feel a little bit different in parts. Um, it's probably what you said there, maybe you had that sort of build up bit um, to get a bit more upbeatness to it. Um, otherwise, hard to not like. Uh, again, another just good, nice, solid song for the album. So next up, we had Aerostar. Now, this one I felt was a little bit boring for me, and it was also dragging on too long. So this would definitely be one of my least favourites on the album. Yeah, I think the only thing sort of different for this one here, I've got this sort of, this sort of space rock, um, well, not space rock, but sort of space um, elements feeling coming into it. Um, it felt like it, was, it should have been upbeat, but it wasn't upbeat, but it also wasn't like a slow ballad. Or, I think it's all like a bit lost on where and how it's meant to be. Um, but yeah, that's a notable thing was the fact it was a, a bit more spacey. Then we had Change Your Heat or Die. This one was quite interesting. This had a fiercer sounding start, very 80s rock. I've described it as, as a much heartier song than a lot of the others. Um, and I appreciated the change of style. Maybe not like my favourite song on the album, but it, it just felt different, a lot more rocky. Um, so it's quite interesting, this one. Yeah, this almost could have been like the sort of experimental song um, on the album. I feel like, dare I say it, something a little bit different to the others. Um, has a bit of what a bit of oomph um, yeah. to it, which is probably like your what did you say, heatness, um, heartness, heart, or something. A, heart, a heartier song. A heartier song, yes. Yeah, so I'll put oomph <laughs> for that. Um, almost rock. We haven't sort of mentioned this is meant to be the the, the genre was one of like hair metal or something. Um, this is probably closer to maybe it would have felt like that there because we had some guitar riffs into it. Um, but yeah, at least it was something a bit different. I've put it as, again, one of the ones I preferred, but I think that's purely just because it was something a bit different to what we've had so far. So Avalanche was up next. It's not bad. I'd say somewhere in the middle in terms of pace and up, upbeatness. Just a, a good solid song for me, this one. Um, yeah, I've still put first on here. Back to where we were with the previous tracks. Um, so it hasn't changed too much back from there after that last track. Um, I've got a sort of another sort of Coldplay kind of feel um, sort of it to it. And I think it just, with that Coldplay, when I made Coldplay, I think it's back to that sort of just nice element, you know, nothing too over exciting and just a nice, safe, okay song for the album. So Souvenir is the next track. Again, felt it was okay, but it doesn't really stand out. It does have a clear chorus, though, although not a particularly catchy one. Um, yeah, um, I found actually more interesting the fact the title song being Souvenir, because I felt like actually you can rhyme quite a lot of words with Souvenir, and I did pick up some of those rhyming bits from there. Otherwise, again, it is just the same like um, the other tracks. Nothing much more I can sort of say add to it to here. So the penultimate track was Photograph. Slow and steady, very short, not much, not much to report. Oh, that, that rhymes, there we go. Slow and steady, <laughs> short, not much to report. Um, like that, yeah. This was, yeah, so we, you talked earlier about this being a, um, well, the song's being long. This one wasn't long, this was a short track. So yeah, I don't know, nothing really seemed to happen in this one, really. 
Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll show a song on the album. So one, I, I, the difference I found with this one, I did feel there was a, a tiny bit more emotion um, to this one. I did pick up on that and sort of a little bit more. Um, it kind of felt a slight difference to the others, but otherwise not massively. Um, and I feel it was maybe just those sort of more emotional bits um, to the song. I quite liked it. It was all right. And I think it probably helped it was um, a, a shorter track to the others. Yeah, so that track kind of went into the last track, um, which was Energy Never Dies, It Just Transforms. So it, it was only instrumentals for this one. There, were no, uh, there was no singing. But it, I actually quite like that. I thought it was quite a good way to end the album. Um, so it, I, I kind of, because of the, I had that, the title in, in my head, Energy Never Dies, It Just Transforms. So I was like listening to the instrumentals, mm. thinking like it is energy kind of flowing. Um, so yeah, I thought that was that was fairly decent, nice way to win the album. Yeah, I totally agree. I was really intrigued by the title, and I think the song carried that through um, as well. Again, we had that kind of sort of space rock um, elements to it, and I didn't think it was going to be no lyrics. But then as it got more into it, oh, I bet this is not going to have any lyrics to it. But I actually really liked it, like you as well. I think just sort of got my mind to sort of switch off, and really enjoyed relaxing, listen to it. So I think overall that was actually my favourite track um, on the album, which I was surprised to, to say, really. But yeah, really good way to end the album. OK, so if we're summing up, so for me, um, I, I, you know, what? I, I know, if, again, I wasn't like overly, didn't say anything overly impressive about the uh, overly fantastic about the album, but I, I still quite enjoyed it as a whole. Um, I think... For, <laughs> Probably the main reason is because when we did the intro, when we looked at the different or, or the sort of genre, supposed genre of this band, this album, I think my expectations were very low. After whatever, what did you say, hair metal and symphonic mm. something? I was like, that's not really what I like. So I wasn't expecting much. So because of that, what we got was actually perfectly normal, like perfectly fine for me to listen to. So I had no issues with it whatsoever. And, and it was pretty much, you know, had a lot of similarities to some of the other, or to all the other 80s style music we've been listening to. Obviously it's different, but it's still very much along those lines. Um, so I, yeah, I, I, I quite enjoyed listening to it. It was, it was pretty good for me. Not, not, nothing, not outstanding, but decent enough. Um, now, obviously, if the um, if, we, if what we'd read in the intro was some sort of different type of genre that was more my type of thing, then maybe that would have raised my expectations, and maybe I'd be a bit mm. disappointed. I don't know, but yeah, I, I was happy enough with it. Yeah, it's a really strange one, me and this one, because uh, again, I totally agree with all the points that you sort of make there. Um, for me, it's probably about all the all the similar ones we've done to this. It's probably been my least favourite out of all of those. And that seems harsh, but I feel like the others did, I mean, we talk as we went through the album, you know, just had that little bit something to them. But saying that, I really enjoyed listening to it. I think the point being, I wouldn't be rushing back to listen through this all again. Um, I, it should be something that I, you know, I would really, really love. And maybe that's where we sort of differ, maybe because the expectations may be a bit, higher for me whilst yours low because it wouldn't be your type of thing um but as you said you know there wasn't a song there we didn't really i think there was maybe one that we may have said was the worst of a bad bunch but i think they all were very good all on par with each other worst of a bad bunch <laughs> yeah you know as in like about actually you know if we took that particular one worst song in both said uh, was it the heart breaking one potentially or worst of a fairly, fairly, worst of a fairly decent bunch. Yeah, say. okay, that's probably a better way. <laughs> yeah, apologies. Yeah, um, um, yeah, and as you we were saying, I think just those songs, some of them are just that little bit too long and just sort of just dragged just a little bit um, towards the end. But as I saying, you know, you couldn't not like them. They were really nice to listen to. Um, so I think the classic thing we normally say, you know, it wouldn't put me off wanting to hear more of this. I'd be interested to see what other stuff is like. But at the same time, if it's exactly the same, it wouldn't excite me enough to want to listen to it because I feel like 
I'll just be listening to sort of um, the same thing. So, um, oh, but like I said, it, overall, it still was a good, um, good album and nice to listen to. All right, so just before we finish, um, right, the band are called The Midnight. So I'll just put a little message out there for The Midnight in case they are watching this because some of our uh, recent album reviews we've done, we have had comments from the artists themselves. So The Midnight, if you are watching and you, if you want to be interviewed by us on our channel, we'd be more than happy to interview. Is that right? <laughs> a little, little shout out. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm sure Brett's got a lot of questions lined up. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so keep the requests coming um, and we'll see you again soon for the next one. Don't forget to donate to our channel. <laughs> see you. Goodbye.